I failed to see a problem. Stay awake. <laughs> Let's look at 2x squared plus 7x plus 6. Oh no, the lead coefficient's not 1. What am I going to do? Ah! Well, you first got to look for a GCF, right? <laughs> Donde esta? No esta aquí! Oh, que triste! There's no common factor other than one because I don't really want to worry about a common factor right now. What I will worry about is how this guy breaks down. It's a trinomial. Come on, you can do it. How do you want to break down 2x squared? All the cool kids say what? All the cool kids, you know they say 2x and x, plus and plus, everything is positive. Now you got to break down what? Three. What, what about 6 and 1? Won't 6 and 1 add to give me 7? It's 3 and 2. It is going to be 3 and 2. 6 and 2 don't be equal to 7. Right, if, here's, a, here's some tricks I want to show you guys. If I put the 6 and the 1 <coughs> here, that gives me x and the 12x. That's wrong, right? That's 13. So you can see it's 6 times 2. It's not just 6. It's 6 times 2x. That's wrong. Some of you may say, oh, well, that's stupid. You should have put the 6 here and the 1 here. No. 2x plus 6 has a common factor, right? Mm -hmm. There was no common factor in the original. You may not have a common factor in these guys. Fail. It's a contradiction. Don't do it. So, when I go back and I do the 2x and x, we saw that 6 and 1 would never work. I have to use 2 and 3. What cannot go here based on what I just told you? 2. So the 2 must go here. The 3 has to go here. Does that work out? Yes. I get 3x and I get 4x. Everybody's happy, right? Aren't you happy? <coughs> I'm happy. <laughs> No, that's not creepy. What's creepy is whenever I do that and you don't know that I'm there doing it. <coughs> All right, let's try another. Oh dear, there's so many problems to choose from. <coughs> yeah, there's something I want to show you about with this one. Four x squared plus twenty three x minus thirty five. The other little trick that I want to teach you guys about this, you can see this in the videos. Um, some of you hopefully remember it. Some of you may not. But look at your factors here. Is there anything common to all of these guys? No. <coughs> look at the way numbers break down. How does four break down? Four. It breaks down as one times four or two times two. What about thirty five? You know what, I just not write that. One times 35 and five times seven. This pin seems really weak compared to those markers. Now this is one of the things I want to show you in terms of a trick. I'm going to circle two and two. Does anybody know why? Common factor? Okay. These guys have a common factor of what? Two. Does two go into 23? One of the tricks that we talk about in our 0308 and 0310 classes is that if you have a factor pair with a common factor, check it against the middle <coughs> guy. If it goes in there, use it. If it doesn't, you can't. 2 does not go to 23, which means I can't use that. So when I factor this, I have to use 4x and x. I don't really have a choice. If I try to use 2 and 2, I will end up with a contradiction, guaranteed. Now over here, I got 1 and 35 or 5 and 7. If I try to put 35 opposite the 4, 35 times 4 is too big, right? If I put the 35 here, I'm going to get 35 and 4. Does that ever give me 23? It's a bad combination. 5 and 7. Where can I put that so it makes sense? <coughs> you know, you may just have to try it out to see what works. Well, the 7, the larger number's got to be positive. Not necessarily. Well, for your five, five goes but that, 
In the examples, if it's just a plain x squared, the sign of the middle term will match the sign of the larger number. But when this coefficient <coughs> is something other than 1, no, that doesn't... That's, that's what I'm saying. I mean, your larger number is going to be 28. It's got to be a positive in order to take 5 from it. Okay. Right? So you're saying Plus 7 here and the 5 here? Plus 5 minus 7. Say that again? Yes, yes. Minus 5 and then plus 7. Does that give me a negative 35? Yeah. Does that give me the 4x squared? <coughs> Check the rest of this to make sure it works out. I get negative 5x in the middle. What's on the outside? That gives me the 23x. Now, what if, <coughs> what if we had done the inside and outside and came up with negative 23x? <coughs> right side, the wrong number. Switch what? Your signs. Switch the signs. You wouldn't have to actually change the whole problem. Just switch your signs. Okay. If I give you this guy, this is one of my favorites. 8x squared minus 34x minus 9. Is there a common factor for all of these pieces? nothing other than one. I want you to list out your factors and use that as a guide to help you out here. What are the factors for eight? One and eight, two and four. One and eight, two and four. What about the factors for nine? One, nine, three. Are there any factor pairs that contain a common factor? Two and four have a common factor of what? Does two go into 34 evenly? then I should use this guy when I'm breaking down the 8. Do you see any other factor pairs that are useful? 3, three and 3 have a common factor of what? 3. Does 3 go into 34 evenly? No, so I cannot use that. So when I'm trying to factor this guy, I said that I have to use 2x and 4x. That's mandated by the logic that I've got here. Your signs, what do you know about the signs inside here? Excuse me? They can't both be negative because you have to multiply to get a negative here at the end. So one has to be positive, one has to be negative. Maybe I don't know exactly where they go yet, so let me hold off on that. I'm going to use 1 and 9. Where do these numbers have to go so I can get something close to a 34? <coughs> I put, what, another thing to think about, does the 9 have a contradiction with the 2 or the 4? No. So let's do 9 and 1, see if this works out. Now this gives me 36x in the middle, a 2x on the outside, but somebody has to be negative. Who has to be negative to get a negative 34x? The 36 needs to be negative. Oh, negative. So that guy would have to come from a negative 9, and that positive two x from a plus one right there. What do you guys think? Is that okay? Yeah. 